come back from the Broncos back to the Warriors, bro. How's it been? How's preseason been? It's been good, bro. Um, almost done now, so you're always happy when preseason's almost over. But um, it, it's tough as preseason is. You sort of your body thanks you for it by the you know back end of the year. Everyone's everyone's excited and new coach, bro. It's you know it's exciting times. How's that going, bro? Like, have you been under Webby before? Is this the first yeah. time? No, I have been under Webby for for twenties, and that's sort of how the relationship sort of happened. He, he gave me a call when he was coming over and saying if I was keen to come back, and um, I get along well with Webby. He's, he's real clever, super clever, and um, I didn't think he'd get any cleverer. And um, he's obviously gone to Penrith and picked up a few new tricks, so um, he, he's teaching all us all those tricks and um, you know putting us in a good position to have a good year. Yeah, good pedigree, eh, coming out of Penrith. What about the um, defensive structure, mate? You know, like there's no question around your attacking ability, but being back up in the front line after playing fullback for the Broncos last year, how's that all going? What's the shape look like defensively? Yeah, it's good. Um, yeah, I haven't, I probably made about four tackles last year, so <laughs> um, I made more, more tackles this preseason than I did all year last year, so it's been good. Um, yeah, like you said, being back in the front line is, is a lot different than fullback. Um, you're not running as much, but physical-wise, it's it's a lot tougher. So, um, just getting my getting my shoulders back into it, and it's all there up here. It's just getting your body physically ready for, it. and that's what preseason is for. Is um, get your body get your body used to all this. So. Um, that's going all good, bro. And what about the spine? Like, a lot of talk around the spine, you and Shawnee and the combination, how that's going to work. you got Chance back there at fullback. Yeah. Um, of course, Wade will probably start at nine. How's the spine looking? And are you, I guess, excited that it can take us further up the ladder? Yep, I am excited for that. And um, it's looking good. Chance has only been back for the last week or two. He's been on World Cup duties, but um, he brings a strong running game. And obviously, you've seen how he does it. And, and Shawnee's got, still got all the tricks in the bag bro he's still carving up stuff at training it's just trying to um, put that into game game scenarios and, and that's where Webby comes in well bro putting our our shapes in and, and making sure that what you're doing is what you're good at so um, we're soon going to find out how that works and um, we're sort of just getting to 13 on 13 stuff now which is which is exciting and um, we can only get better from here and I think yeah I think Wade Inger is probably um, a little bit underrated and for most people you know he doesn't get talked about much but the stuff he does at training and and the kind of um, deception he has is it's pretty r- unreal man I played with some good hookers and and the way he passes it and can hold up defenders I think it's really underrated eh? but coming back and play for the Broncos what have you noticed that you have to take into this year uh, especially being in the front line playing that fullback role and opening up the Broncos going on that good run mm. what do you have to bring here to the Warriors is it, is it directness to the line is it being tackled in the line what what, what is actually the the spine what, what do they have to do um, I think first and foremost is to run the footy um, you know you got all these you got these big boys you got Adam Fanoa Blake you got Mitch Barnett they can really lay a line and get you quick play the balls it's playing on the ad line and you hear about it all the time as playing ice up footies and um, we got a structure there but whatever whatever numbers they put there we got to play and um, it's being able to play it hard and fast and that's and that's what we're sort of practicing at the moment is we got a shape there but whatever you see in front of you if you if you've got the the more numbers on your side and, and less numbers on their side you got to take it and that's what Webby really drives is um, putting shape around there but you're always an option there's no yeah. there's no decoy runners there's no you know, two to two to a post without thinking that you might go out the back and, and strip them on the first one. So it's just being um, ready all the time, and I think that's probably the main one. But if you say about it, it's just being ready all the time to place a footy. Yeah, and that's obviously you can get your numbers and your shape right and going, and your voice is strong enough to over, overcome that of Sean Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Well, but that's all we—that's all we're here for. We can't let we can't let Shawnee just do everything. Yeah. Um, you know, the more he does stuff, and the more they put numbers on his side, that's that's our sort of our window to go down our side. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's all. All about reading numbers and um, making sure, yeah, that you are dominant and you're not just a passenger. And what about your kicking game? Been working on that? That's where, that's where Shawnee does go and well. Coming <laughs> <laughs> it was coming to me on last, but we were running it. <laughs> no, that's obviously a, a big work on for me and that, that has been getting worked on. And um, yeah, obviously Shawnee is the, the main kicker and I need to be ready. So if he gets tackled on last, I need to be ready for that. So. Keep okay. working on so it. So all of our punters out there, just remember, if they are struggling, they get in a short, we're going to go down a short side and tomorrow's got the ball, get on a try scorer. Tomorrow, Martin, good odds. <laughs> bro, nice to talk to you. Welcome Thank home. You, Cheers, Cheers, Thank mate. you.